Put your hands up and get on the floor. Sweet. Episode 20 and TF2 Action! And we're being the engineer this time. Been working out in the garage. And would you know what I found, everybody? I was sorting through all my old knitting crochet hooks and all my knitting materials from all the years. All the little beanies and booties I made for my grandchildren and great 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 grandchildren. And I came across, there it was, hanging on the wall, Hitler's canoe. I took out some polyurethane and sandpaper and I got to work refinishing that baby. Oh, good times. Oh, I had many a good, good lunch in out on the water and that in Hitler's canoe. And so that really put me in into the crafting kind of mood. Hence, I'm playing as the engineer, which I don't usually do. I'd have to show y'all some pictures of me out on the water. In the canoe. All oh, that rowing really built up these biceps nicely. Y'all ever seen that commercial? About arthritis, the arthritis, or the arthritis. Sometimes I like to call it arthritis. Just for fun, for variety's purpose. But there's a commercial out there and, and it says that sometimes it's hard to keep moving because of arthritis, but if you stay moving, it helps relieve arthritis. It's really mysterious. Yes, you think all that rolling would help my arthritis, but it really didn't didn't do anything for me really. hard to get active with arthritis, they say, but staying active nice can help your arthritis. Well, how can I stay active if I can't even get active? What's wrong with you people? Doing a little repair work here. Yeah, the other day, the, me and the knitting committee met and we we decided we would have a nice lunch and once the quarantine ends, 
No, I, I can't remember. There's a lake nearby, some kind of pond or lake. And I was just thinking that wouldn't it be such a dramatic appearance if I just, if the girls saw me rowing in the lake. And I arrived via Hitler's canoe. Uh-huh. Yep. The brass band. It ain't easy work, but it's honest work, being an engineer. It's good to know medical school wasn't all a waste. I didn't go to medical school for nothing, boys. I better not see any spy around here. weather we're having. I woke up early today and then I went downstairs and remembered that I had one of those mmm delicious homemade prune pies that I got out the jar of mayonnaise and put some mayonnaise on that baby and had a nice big slice of my prune pie. Granny Mildred's prune pie. Mmm. Yep, it was tasty, that's right. And I can't wait to say hello to it in, a, in about a day or two. Prunes are such wonderful friends, that's why I eat them all the time. They never abandon you. You, you say hello to them and then a day or two later they come back and say hello again. I once had a pet prune. That was shortly after my husband died in a propane accident. And then I had a pet prune. Oh, we would go everywhere together. I'd put his little leash on. Oh, we'd go out to lunch and then we we'd stroll back home. Smell the flowers. And then we'd get home and we just take a little nap. Those were happy times. Dang spy, leave my contractions alone. Now, speaking of prunes, I got a little sip here. 
But my favorite prune juice. I just need a little lubrication. Hold on. Ah. Oh, delicious. Nothing will warm my geriatric old heart like a glass of prune juice. Take notes, boys. If you ever want a good first date idea, take me down to the prune bar. Then let's, let's get a little bit of prune juice. And if you really want to be fancy, then... Get me a gin and tonic with some prune juice in it. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. We have secured the control point. See, my other thing here. Move that up over here. And just put it there. Mm -hmm. Well, there goes everything. At least he had to waste a lot of time destroying it. Alright, I'll just put one of those there. On my mind. And Hitler's canoe. What a find. You never know what you'll find in your garage. At least when it's as old as mine is. All kinds of goodies stored away. Hmm, I wonder. Make some prune butter, put it on toast. Y'all think that would be good? We got some prune butter, or rather made some, I don't think anybody sells them. Make some tasty prune butter. And that's the stuff right there. Now come on, where's a place to put it? Well, definitely not out there now. Put it next to this guy, he's right there. Uh-huh. There. Need to do some repairs. I was, like I said, I was in the crafting mood. And I remember that one of my grandsons, he lost his first tooth recently. Poor little fella. He was so traumatized.
And so I decided I would do him a kindness and I made him I made him a wooden tooth I could just shove it back up inside his gums and then it would look just like the real thing except made of wood just like George Washington Wow Of course, his mama ain't a big, ain't, ain't fond of what I did, but I don't care. I do what I want at my age, honey. I've earned my social security, how about you? Been watching a lot of Julia Child videos lately. Yep, we were good friends back in the day. I always got angry because she never had any prune recipes. She did have a really good mayonnaise recipe for making mayonnaise trail bars, mayonnaise pie. Oh, I use that in everything. Who needs WD 40 when you have mayonnaise? But you know, I don't, I don't think I ever, you know, I take that back, I did see her, I remember now, she was putting some kind of pate inside of prune, now, oh, no. if only I could remember what recipe it was. Oh, consign it. I don't know if it was some kind of pastry or, or what exactly it was. But she would slice open dried fruit. Well, prunes are dried. She would slice open prunes. And then she would put some some liver pate, liver, liver mousse inside. But that was the only one, dang it. Prunes are too delicious to only use them in one type of recipe. And Susie Jenkins learned that the hard way the other day. It was in yet another one of our tri-weekly knitting committee meetings and she was she was belittling the holy prune and so I called a vote and we voted her off the island so to speak temporarily of course but it, it taught her a valuable lesson uh, let's see whose little head we can pop off. Oh, your dang ping. Dang European server. I've seen telegraph wires with better ping than this. I was around when Julia Child had her first cooking show. It was a telegraph cooking show. Subscription only. If you were a sub subscriber, then what would happen? 
and she, every day you would receive a telegraph. A 50 word telegraph. Containing, the, you know, the dialogue, the transcript of the show, and then after enough time, you know, maybe a month or a few weeks, you would have the whole transcript. You'd have all the recipes and everything. That's how I got all my good recipes back before she was on TV. Mmm, this coffee. Prune juice coffee. So good. It's not actually coffee, it's just warmed prune juice. Ping! Pop this little noggin off. Twice in a row, that poor fella. I'm thinking about asking the TV repairman out on a date later. Gotta bring out Big Boom Boom, but I named my rifle. But anyway, I don't actually have a problem with my TV, but don't tell anybody. Bringing out the TV repair man. Oh, once I show him Hitler's canoe, I think we'll. I think we'll hit it off. Bing! These little smithereens now! Bing! Wow, look at that! That ping delay! we can do to the blue team with this. These little notes going off kind of sounds like when Mr. Dinglehammer climbs up on top of the piano and she starts with his little paw playing me a nice little song. What a nice fella he is. Kind of what his song sound like. Ding. Get going. We did it, mate. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That was worth it. Definitely worth it. Wonder if we can call the computer repair there now. Now that I got that canoe fixed up, I think I'll be calling all kinds of people now. Uh, the electrician, geek squad, TV repairman, air conditioning repairman, mailman. Thank you, everybody. Please come back and visit old granny. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.